This guide shows you how to install Google Photos on your PC to upload your photos to the cloud so that you can see them on your smartphone or your tablet. This works on iOS based uh, systems i.e. iPads and iPhones and Android based tablets and phones. So first of all, you need to ensure that you've got a Google account. If you haven't got a Google account, see my video on how to set up a Google account. Next thing we need to do is to open up our browser. So I'm just going to open up Edge in Windows 10. You can use any browser that you like. And in the um, address bar, we need to type in photos.google.com and then press the enter or return key on your keyboard. If you're doing this in Internet Explorer, Google Chrome or Firefox or Opera, then you need to type the address in the address bar at the top of the screen. Um, before doing this, obviously delete out whatever's in there. So just click to the right of whatever's in the address bar at the top of the screen and then press the delete or the backspace key. And again, you just type in there photos.google.com and then press enter or return on the keyboard. Okay, so once this is, uh, the page is opened, we just click the Go to Google Photos. So left click, Go to Google Photos. And we now need to sign in with your email address. If you're already signed into Google, then it won't ask you this, but um, so you type in your Google registered email address. And then we click the next button. On the next screen, we type in our password and make sure the stay signed in box is ticked. So we type in our password and then we click the sign in button. And if this is the first time we've gone into Google Photos, it will come up with Google Photos and we click continue. Now on here um, as well, before, before we got to this page, it may well ask you to add a mobile phone number for recovery if you haven't done so already. I would advise putting in a mobile phone number as a way of recovering your account if, if need be. Um, this again was detailed in my video on how to uh, set up a Google account. Um, so I won't go too far, too much into that. But uh, what we need to do now is now we're in Google Photos. Um, we need to download and install the Google Photo Backup app to our computer. To do this, we click on the three lines in the top right hand, uh, top left hand corner, sorry, of the uh, Google screen. And we need to move our mouse over App Downloads and we left click at downloads. Now we click left click the word download and it's already started downloading at the bottom here and it's running a security scan. If we're downloading in Internet Explorer it will give us a, a, a box at the bottom of the screen saying do you want to run or save GP auto backup underscore setup dot XE. I'm going to click save if you're running Google Chrome, once you click download, this GP Auto Backup underscore setup will appear at the bottom of the screen. If you're using Mozilla Firefox, once you click download, um, you will notice that uh, it, it may ask you whether you want to save the file or cancel. So left click save file. And once it's finished downloading, this arrow at the top of the screen here will go blue. Now we need to run the file. So again, depending on which browser you've used to download the file in, if you've used Edge, um, we can left click on run here. If you're using Internet Explorer, left click on run. If you're using Firefox, left click the blue arrow in the top right hand corner here. Left click GP Auto Backup Setup twice, as in a double click. And if you're using Google Chrome, move your mouse down to GP Auto Backup underscore Setup and left click this. Now, whatever browser you've uh, used to download it, the same method applies for the rest of this, uh, this guide. So we just click on, left click on the word run. 
we left click on the button I agree it then starts to install this might take a couple of minutes some installations may take longer than others really depends on the speed of your computer okay now it says completed we left click on close and then we click continue now sometimes when we click continue we might just get a plain white screen come up here this is does seem to be a bug in um, Google Photos the installation now to get around this what I have to do is I have to move my mouse to the top right hand corner of the box here unfortunately it's a little bit out of view so uh, but I'm trying to find the, uh, the the cross button at the top here let's just bring that down so I left click on the close button and then I left click continue again now sometimes this might take two or three attempts but uh, usually it uh, it does work on the second attempt so here we type in our email address um, which is registered with Google so I'm just going to do that now and then we click the next button then we type in our password and click left click sign in and we'll get this uh, box appear on the screen, the Google Photos box. Now, what I normally do is I normally untick cameras and storage cards so that it doesn't automatically import things from cameras and storage cards that we, um, when we plug in a camera or a storage card, we want it to go on the computer first and then the computer can pick it up and back it up to uh, um, the, the cloud. So. <coughs> It says here it's going to back up our desktop and my pictures but what I also like to do is I like to add a couple of more folders so let's left click add folder and from this list um, I want to find the documents folder I want to add that just in case there's some pictures in the documents folder so left click documents folder and then click OK and if I left click add folder again I'm just going to move down I want to add the videos folder and uh, that should import um, sort of standard video files, MPEGs, AVIs. If, if your video camera um, imports or, or, or sorry, saves files as um, weird, a weird and wonderful format, then it may not pick it up, but it will pick up most things. It's the same with, with pictures. It will generally pick up things like JPEGs, GIFs, BMP files, all the standard picture formats and, and video formats. So uh, I've click on videos and then click OK. Now, um, the rest of it, we want to leave at the photo size at high quality because we've got free unlimited storage there. Um, high quality is good enough for most people, certainly good enough for me. Um, you can select to have them uploaded to the original uh, resolution. Um, but unfortunately that counts against your 15 gigabytes worth of storage that Google gives you and on photos and videos you're going to eat into that pretty quickly. Uh, if you do eat it up you do have options to buy extra uh, storage from Google but like I say I tend to find the high quality the free unlimited storage um, tends to be good enough for most people. So I then left click start backup. It says Google Photos backup is a go. So I then left click OK on there. And then we'll see down here by the clock, uh, mine's actually hidden by an arrow at the moment, but a Google Photos icon. So if you can't see uh, this kind of symbol here, down by your clock, then click on the arrow that appears by the clock and there it is. Move my mouse over it, it says zero photos backed up at the moment, well, that's because I haven't got any photos on, on, on this computer, on this test computer. But I just need to do a couple more sort of tweaks on here. So I right click on this uh, Google Photos icon down by the clock and then I left click settings and I just want to put a tick in the upload raw files so left click the box there and upload PNG files so left click the box there not the end of the world if you don't do this but it, it may upload a few extra files so we then click the OK button OK now the photos on Google uh, depend on how many uh, how many photos you've actually got on the computer really depends on how long it's going to take to upload 
If you've got a couple of hundred photos, then this could take a few hours. If you've got thousands of photos, this could take several days, weeks, months. <laughs> you know, if you've got hundreds of thousands, it could take uh, several years even, really depends on, uh, on the speed of your internet connection. But for most people, um, it's a good idea, perhaps once you've installed this, to, uh, to perhaps leave your computer switched on overnight um, to let it back up. Um, the photos. If you want to go back and check at any time how many photos it's got left to back up, you can move your mouse over the icon here and it will tell you how many photos it's got left to back up. Um, if your computer's turned off, then it will not back up. Um, I must stress that it needs to be turned on and signed in as the user that you've installed it under um, for it to back up the uh, the photos. Um, if you want to back up other users, you, unfortunately this will only back up uh, the user that you're currently logged in as, but if you do want to back up photos of other users, log in as them, re repeat this uh, installation and uh, install it and, and, and either give sign up in their um, Google account or sign up with yours if you want them added to your Google account, the photos that is. So the next thing we need to do is we need to um, put the app on our smartphone or tablet. Now if you've got a Apple tablet or smartphone then you need to go to the Apple App Store. Now the Apple App Store is on the main screen of your iPhone or your iPad and is uh, looks like this basically. It's uh, a blue icon with uh, a white paintbrush and pencil inside it and has the word App Store. So uh, we need to tap on that. The Google Play Store uh, is like a, a white paper bag with a, uh, a, a an arrow inside it and it's got the word Play Store underneath. So if you've got an Android phone or tablet, tap the Play Store. Now, next thing we need to do is uh, to tap in the top right hand corner by the magnifying glass and type in Google space photos. Then we tap under suggestions, Google photos, just the Google photos on its own. We then look for Google photos, free photo and video backup by Google Inc. And we tap the get button or there could be an open button if you've got it installed like me or there could be a picture of a, a cloud with an arrow if you've already got it stored in the cloud but uh, click get open or the cloud or tap it sorry and once it's download tap open now if you've got an Android tablet or phone then we need to go into the Play Store as I said earlier and we need to search in the Play Store for Google Photos here. So to search, I tap where it says Google Play, and then I type Google Photos, and then I tap Google Photos here with the Google Photos symbol beside it. Okay, so once you've tapped on that, it should say install, or if it's already installed on there, it might say open, or in the case of mine where it's already installed but it's not the latest version, it might say update. So tap on this button just here, so it'll either say update, install, or open. Tap that now. Now, if you're either on an Android or an iOS, just follow the on-screen instructions. Make sure you allow it access to your photos and if you like your location, if you allow access to your location, it actually tries to keep track of um, where you're taking the photos. Quite handy if you want to remember where you were, because uh, it puts a nice little map up on the screen of, of where the photo was taken if you need it. Um, once it's installed um, and you've signed into it, um, there's a couple of little things that I like to turn off, which I think are could be useful but I think they're more of an annoyance than anything else so I'll show you what those are. So if you tap on the three lines, three horizontal lines at the top right hand corner of the screen uh, and then tap settings and uh, then we tap assistant cards and I tend to turn off uh, new creations and uh, rediscover this day because it just keeps popping up things on, uh, on screen and also offers to, um, uh, it, it tries to make new sort of
collages and, and, and effects on some of your photos, so I, I tend to turn that off. Also, another thing to note, if you're using um, Apple, um, the, the, the system on both Apple and Android is designed to back up your photos taken on your phone, tablet, um, uh, or, or, or Apple device. But on the Android devices, it will automatically back up uh, once you've taken a photo, as long as you've, uh, you've, you've set it to. Um, if you set it to back up over Wi-Fi only, then obviously it will only back up when you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. However, iOS devices, Apple devices, don't tend to automatically back up. Um, if you want it to, uh, to, to back up, I've tended to find that uh, you have to go, every, every, every so often you have to go into the Google Photo app and then tap on the assistant button at the bottom of the screen and uh, and just keep an eye on uh, the, uh, the, the the backup status sort of three quarters of the way up the top left hand side of the screen um, it will start to back up photos you'll see on there backing up photos it will give you a thumbnail of the photo that it's backing up and when it's complete it'll actually say backup complete well how do you actually find the photos on the uh, once they're on the, the, the tablet or smartphone. Well, you tap the Google Photos app and then tap the Photos button um, at the bottom of the screen and that will show you all the photos that have been backed up to the cloud. Now, as I said earlier, it could take a number of days, months or weeks even to, uh, to back up all your photos on the computer. Um, they will back up automatically whilst the computer is switched on. They won't back up when the computer is switched off. So uh, if you can, leave the computer on until they've all backed up. If you can't, doesn't matter. Like I say, it'll, they'll, they'll continue to back up next time you turn the computer on. Hope this video helps.